Alright, let's talk about how to share vendors on your network so that everyone that uses the WinBid Pro software has access to the same vendors. It's, it's fairly simple to do, there's just a few steps, so let's go through what it takes. Uh, the first thing that you need to make sure of is that the WinBid Pro software is installed on each of the computers that um, you know needs to run it. And each one of those computers needs to have its own license. So that's just the way the software works. It runs locally but the database can be located anywhere. The catalogs can be anywhere. So we've got our WinBid Pro folder and if it's a brand new installation for your company I would recommend just installing vendors on one of the computers. So you install the vendors you need everyone to share, put those on one computer. You can just go to our website, go to the V15 WinBid Pro page, go to the vendors and install whatever vendors you need. Now since they're on one computer that's the one we're going to use to copy uh, to our net network location. And then there's one other file that we would be copying. It's called master.mdb. And if you don't see the .mdb, that's okay because it's the only master file. Um, ignore these because I have uh, our new SQL version on here that we're testing, but uh, you'll learn about that later. <laughs> um, so those are the files we need to copy. Now, what we're going to want to make sure of is on our network drive that we've created a folder that uh, everyone can access. So everyone needs rights to it, everyone needs um, it to be shared on their computer. But once that's the case, you've created a folder, you can call it anything you want. Uh, you know, GDS vendors, uh, glazing vendors, catalogs, you can call it anything. So as long as you know where it is and everyone has access to it. So we're going to go back to our WinBid Pro folder and then we're going to actually click on each of the catalogs that we want to copy to the server. And then we're also going to want to click on the master.mdb file. So I can control and click on that. So holding down control and click can let you alternate uh, which ones you're clicking on. Now, in the interest of uh, speed, I'm only going to copy one catalog and the master file because it takes a while to copy. So I'm going to right click and copy. And then I'm going to go to my server folder right here and I'm going to paste that stuff in there. So I'm going to hit paste and it's going to go ahead and copy um, the catalogs. So once you copy a vendor folder, everything for that vendor is in there. The detail files, the jobs, the parts, you know, anything you need for that vendor is in that one folder. So it's nice and easy to copy it. Uh, so we've got our master file too. So now the next step is on one of the computers, doesn't matter which one, you need to get into your software the WinBit Pro. And don't worry about creating a username yet because we still have to tell the software where the master file is. So right now it's just using it on the C drive. And once it gets into the program, we're going to want to go down to the system defaults, almost to the bottom, click system defaults, and then click the button that says set location of master.mdb. It tells you the current location which is the C drive, that's the default, so that's fine, but we want to continue and we want to browse for the server drive where we copied our vendors and master file. So we're going to open up the folder we created and I'm going to click on that master.mdb file. I'm going to say OK. So now the program has to close because uh, it has to basically log out and log back in. So we're going to get back into the program now now it's using the master file. It'll have the same names that were in there before you copied it because it's really the same file. So if you need to add people's names now, that's a good idea. One person can do it or each person um, can do it themselves. It doesn't matter. But you just click this button, hit add new, um, add the person's name. We don't need a password yet. Someday we'll uh, implement that feature. But um, basically the name, uh, first and last name and the username is the main thing. So keep that in mind. And then once it's created, select the user. It'll remember that user on the machine that you're on until you change it. And then it goes ahead and uh, gets into the program. So now, the, the next trick is the vendor list is all still pointing at the um, C drive. So remember that we installed the vendors uh, from the C drive you know, on the C drive and then we copied them. So really all we have to do 
is browse so we need to edit the location and we need to tell the software now there's actually no browse button here so you would have to just kind of type this in uh, I know the drive letter and I know the name that I gave this so GDS vendors and remember the space the spaces uh, matter the upper upper lowercase doesn't matter but spaces do when you hit OK it actually looks for that file to make sure it's there so if it's not there it's going to give you an error and you're going to have to um, check your uh, check your location but here's the I didn't copy these other ones so I'm not going to go ahead and change those but uh, here's the the one I did change I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it's going to open that from the the server location so right now I open this job from my server location that uh, everyone else has access to so that's pretty much how you would do it now the other alternative you could always install uh, a vendor from the internet after you've copied your master file and vendors over and we can well we can do that either inside or outside of the program it doesn't matter let's actually go back inside and we can go to the web just straight through the program and there's actually a, a link that we put in the menu that lets you uh, install a vendor right from inside the program. So let's go to that. Um, so here's an install from web link that we've added. So we're going to go to a, a catalog. So here's all our 15 catalogs. Here's a nice small one. <laughs> it's a, a, a regional supplier that we can uh, pretty quickly install. So now I'm going to run the install file and I am going to, um, I think I'm going to have to tell it that it's not going to the C drive, but let's see what, I have to agree with the license, I have to hit next, yeah, see, so right here it's trying to go to the C drive, so what I want to do is if I browse and I go to the network drive, I can go to my GDS vendors folder, but then I'm going to want to tell it to create the um, other folder. So you still have to put the name, otherwise it's just going to put the files straight into the, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Well, let's do it this way. So, um, yeah, Traco. So we're going to go to Traco. So now that it shows up here, so that's kind of what you want. You want the vendor name to show up in this field here. If it doesn't, then it's not going to create it, um, or it's not going to copy the files to it. So that's all you need you can actually install it to your server location from our website you just have to specify where that is because it's going to try and put it on your C drive so remember that's an option and then the other option is you go in and you edit the location of the file and tell it that okay it's now on my server drive letter and whatever folder you created I mean the vendor names and folders are going to be the exact same so that's that's okay so that's pretty much it. That's how you would share vendors. Now everyone would have the same. And make sure you do uh, the set master location on each of the machines. But once you've set the vendor locations or adjusted the vendor uh, drive letters and locations, that only has to be done once. It doesn't have to be done on each machine. So that's it.